Now that we're all here, let's get ready to head out. Miss Lyra. I will lift the lockdown on the entrance to the Confounding Abyss. However, due to safety concerns, once you're through, we'll lock it down again from this side. You will need to establish temporary space rift nodes within the Abyss ASAP. Miroria will try to maintain communication with you and provide feedback based on your real-time data. Is everyone ready? anything more than you can handle. Contact us immediately. Do not act recklessly. I will. Let's go. <sighs> it's so quiet here. Stay on your toes, and keep moving. Lyra, we've reached the ruins of the Third City. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. Roger that. Communication signal is stable. That's good news. The entrance to deeper levels lies within the ruins of the city. Lynn, locate the entrance as soon as you can and establish a space rift once you're inside. The squad sensor will feed the environmental data to our technicians and will give you the coordinates of a good location to set up a space rift. What should we do if our communication is down? We know nothing about what goes on inside the abyss, so trust your training. Right! <laughs> That's a good answer. Thanks. We'll need to establish at least one temporary space rift for the follow-up operations. Time is of the essence. Let's move out. Lyra, we've reached the entrance to the deeper levels. The squad's status is green across the board. We've yet to encounter any abyssant grayspace entities. Roger that. The deeper levels of the alien ruins are located just below. We haven't detected any abnormal spatial fluctuations. You may enter when ready. Has the confounding abyss devoured other regions of the city already? The third city was divided into the upper and lower cities. Where you are now is what used to be the Upper City. As for the Confounding Abyss, it's like a ghost that suddenly appeared between the two areas. An existence that defies all logic. A scout drone once reached the bottom of the Confounding Abyss and sent back some images before its signal died. The Lower City still exists, but it's beyond recognition, as is the terrain. Get ready. You are about to enter the heart of the Confounding Abyss. It only gets more dangerous inside. Communication with Miroria may be unreliable. Watch each other's backs and be safe.
Meroria has lost the squad signal. How are things on your end? We are now within the confounding abyss. We have visuals of the alien ruins. We've detected slight omnium fluctuations around your area. The nature of those fluctuations matches with the signals from your space rift beacons. It's a high possibility that it may be a beacon left behind by Rubilia. You should set up a temporary space rift here as your emergency extraction point. Understood. We'll look around. Is that a space rift beacon left behind by Rubilia? Maybe we can try to reactivate it. Space entities are still a bit hostile, but at least they didn't attack me on sight. That means my Gray Space Entity Christomax implant is working. This is a video message from Rubelia. Overall, things are going smoothly. I did lose my supply backpack while scaling the cliff. All I have now is half an energy bar in my pocket. I wonder how long it can last me. I have long passed the point of no return. Maybe this is the end of the journey for me. Lynn, the doctor. She must have left other clues. Continue your search. <sighs> Lyra, can you hear me? Go ahead. We found a space. I haven't eaten nor had any water for three days. However, dehydration is not affecting me much, and the feeling of thirst is declining. I think the Christomax implant is changing me. I can feel their special energy within the space that is slowly being absorbed by me. This feeling is becoming more and more tangible. I believe this special energy matter is what sustains the gray space entities. They are unlike us humans. They don't need to turn food into energy. Now, very few gray space entities take note of me, and they are no longer hostile at all. Maybe to them, I'm just a deformed gray space entity. I had a strange dream last night. I... I cannot recall the dream exactly, but I remember the voice I heard in the dream. I can still hear it even after I woke up. It's... something deep, low, and slow. Not unlike the whale songs in the ocean, but I don't know whether it's in my head playing tricks on me, or... Is it something real? The Christomax implant may be affecting my central nervous system. I am... slowly losing control of myself. <sighs> I'm running out of time. The Christomax implant is slowly turning the doctor into a gray space entity. I hope she knew what she was doing. get restless, like they are able to sense an infiltrator. Can't figure out who it is. But I'm not sure how much camouflage my alteration gives me, 
so I'm hesitant to try to reach the ruins again. I need time to change into them. Lyra? Lyra? Communication is cut off. Yeah, I can also feel the atmosphere becoming tense around here. Should we keep moving, or wait until the communication is restored? It's highly unstable here. We better not dawdle. Let's keep moving. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs>